In the realm of ancient Greek mythology, a dazzling array of goddesses weave tales both mesmerizing and profound, each bearing not only captivating beauty, but also wielding formidable influence over the course of human history. This rich and complex tapestry of lore, woven over the centuries, brims with a pantheon of divine beings, each with her own unique tale to tell. Let us begin with Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty, and desire, who was born from the foam of the sea. Her allure and charm were the stuff of legends ensnaring both gods and mortals in her enchanting web of passion. Then there is the wise and just Athena, revered as the goddess of wisdom, courage, and crafts. Her intellect and strategic mind made her a guiding light in the chaotic world of the gods. Artemis, the goddess of the hunt and wilderness, symbolized not just the untamed power of nature, but also the inherent strength of women. Her tales reflect the resilience and tenacity of the feminine spirit. And who can forget Demeter, the motherly figure who presided over agriculture, nurturing the earth and mankind with her life-giving bounty? Let us not overlook Hera, Zeus's wife, who, despite her volatile temperament, was a symbol of marriage and childbirth. Her tales hold a mirror to the intricate dynamics of relationships and the beauty of familial bonds. Persephone, too, demands our attention as of the underworld, her story a poignant commentary on love, loss, and rebirth. Next, meet Hestia, the goddess of hearth and home. Her tales underscore the vital importance of harmony and tranquility within a household. And finally, circling back to the realm of wisdom and strategy, we cannot ignore Metis, the mother of Athena, who held sway over cunning intelligence. These goddesses, among others, not only influenced the course of Greek civilization, but also left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness, shaping our understanding of the world and our place in it. Join us on an odyssey through this enchanting world as we delve into the rich tapestry of divine feminine figures. Our journey commences with Athena, the illustrious goddess of wisdom and strategy, revered for her intellect and martial prowess. She is the symbol of courage, the invincible warrior, the embodiment of wisdom. This deity, immortalized in Greek mythology, is more than just a figure of legend. She is an emblem of the power of knowledge and the strength that comes from understanding. Athena, the virgin goddess, is not just a protector of heroes, but a champion of strategic warfare and handicrafts. She is the divine personification of wisdom and reason, a beacon for those lost in the labyrinth of life. Athena, draped in a golden robe, her eyes shining brighter than a thousand suns, commands respect and devotion. Her image, engraved on the Parthenon, silently tells tales of her wisdom and courage that are as relevant today as they were over two millennia ago. Athena, the gray-eyed goddess, stands as a symbol of civilization, wisdom, strength, strategy, craft, justice, and skill. In the annals of Greek mythology, she commands an extraordinary place, born from the forehead of Zeus, fully armored, ready to face the world. She is respected not just for her martial prowess, but for her strategic acumen. She is the divine advisor, guiding heroes with her wisdom, enabling them to conquer battles, both literal and metaphorical. Beyond her prowess in battle, she is also known for her patronage of the arts. She is the protector of Athens, the city named after her, and stands as a beacon of wisdom, justice, and artistic patronage, safeguarding the cultural heritage of Athens. She inspires creativity and innovation, affirming the importance of intellectual and artistic pursuits. She is also revered for her sound and strategic mind. Tales of her wisdom and strategic acumen echo through the annals of history. She is symbolic of a judicious mind, always poised, always ready to tackle life's challenges with equanimity, courage, and wisdom. Her story is a testament to the enduring power of wisdom and strategy. Beyond her prowess in battle, she stands as a beacon of wisdom, justice, and artistic patronage, safeguarding the cultural heritage of Athens. Next, we encounter the luminous Aphrodite, born from the foam of the sea, embodying the essence of love and beauty. Resplendent in her radiant glow, there's an undeniable magnetism, a pull that's impossible to resist. She is the divine epitome of grace and charm, crafted from the ethereal beauty of the ocean's frothy white brine. Her birth, a song sung by the waves, recounts an enchanting tale of passion and desire, of an irresistible force that calls to every heart. Hers is the realm of the heart, of emotions that run as deep and as turbulent as the sea from which she emerged. No living creature, man or beast can escape the sweet allure of her captivating beauty. Countless legends have been woven in her name, tales of love and joy but also of heartbreak and sorrow. She's the mother of Eros, the harbinger of love, the embodiment of infatuation and desire. 
Through him, she spreads her influence, silently whispering in the ears of men and women, kindling the spark of love in their hearts. Her allure is not just physical, but also metaphysical. She embodies an idea, a concept that transcends the material world, touching the very soul of those who gaze upon her. She is the desire that drives us, the passion that ignites us, the love that binds us. She is Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Her laughter is a melody that courses through the winds, her voice, a symphony that imbues life with a rhythm of love. She is the divine muse, inspiring artists to create masterpieces that capture her essence, poets to pen verses that echo her charm. Adorned in a robe of shimmering sea foam green, her golden hair cascades down like a waterfall, catching the sun's rays and reflecting them in a mesmerizing dance of light. Her eyes, a deep sea blue, hold secrets as profound as the ocean depths. She is a vision of ethereal beauty, evoking divine reverence. Every aspect of her, from her divine countenance to her enchanting demeanor, is a testament to her undeniable charm and beauty. Her very presence ignites passion and adoration, infusing the world with the splendor of nature's allure. Then behold Hera, queen of the gods, her regal stature matched only by her dominion over marriage and family. With an aura of grandeur that could tame the wildest of beasts, she graced the realms of the divine with her majestic presence. Dressed in a robe of ethereal silk, adorned with the rarest gems of creation, she embodied the very essence of sovereignty. Hera, a figure of enchanting beauty and unparalleled poise, was a beacon of strength and resilience, revered by both mortal beings and immortals alike. Though she was known for her firm, unyielding nature, Hera also carried a tender heart, full of love and compassion for those under her care. Married to Zeus, the king of the gods, she stood as an equal, a partner in power and in love, commanding respect and honor from her divine spouse. Yet Hera was more than just a queen, more than just the wife of Zeus. She was the guardian of marriage and the custodian of familial bonds, the bedrock on which the institution of family was built. Her influence spanned the length and breadth of the divine realm, infiltrating every corner, every nook and cranny of Mount Olympus. She was the silent force behind the harmony of the divine lineage, ensuring the smooth functioning of the celestial family. Her wisdom flowed like a gentle stream, guiding the gods and goddesses on their path, leading them towards righteousness. Her words were a symphony of wisdom, her actions a testament to her unwavering commitment to her divine responsibilities. Hera was not a goddess to be reckoned with lightly, her wrath could shake Olympus itself, her displeasure bringing discord among the divine family. But beneath the stern exterior was a loving mother, a devoted wife, and a benevolent queen, embodying the spirit of divine womanhood. In the grand scheme of celestial hierarchy, Hera's significance was undeniable. Her realm of influence extended beyond the confines of Olympus, reaching into the hearts and minds of mortals on Earth. Her name whispered in reverence, her deeds celebrated in timeless tales of love, power, and divine authority. As the consort of Zeus, she commands Mount Olympus and nurtures the divine lineage of gods and goddesses. As our journey unfolds, we come across a fascinating figure, a goddess who goes by the name of Artemis, the untamed huntress of the moon. Truly, she is an enigma, an entity whose essence is intertwined with the primal forces of nature itself. With each step she takes, the ground beneath her resonates with her raw, untamed power. She is elusive, like the moonlight that flickers through the dense forest's canopy, dancing on the leaves. Her spirit is not unlike that of the moon's, distant and cold, yet captivating in its mysterious allure. She commands respect, her very presence a testament to the power she wields, and the authority she commands is unquestionable. Artemis's identity is deeply rooted in the wilderness, a place where she roams freely, unbothered by the constraints of society or its expectations. The great expanse of the wild is her sanctuary, a realm where she is the ultimate sovereign. Her freedom and autonomy are not just qualities but her very essence. She carries a bow, a symbol of her fierce independence and untamed spirit. It's not just a weapon, but an extension of herself a testament to her fierce self-reliance and indomitable spirit. The bow, it is believed, was gifted to her by the moon itself, a sacred bond between the celestial body and its earthly representative. Each arrow she notches carries with it a tale of survival, of battles fought and won. The silent whisper of the arrow cutting through the air echoes the stories of the many creatures that have fallen before her might and the many more that will continue to do so. Yet, beneath her ferocity is a guardian spirit, a protector of all creatures, great and small, 
that call the wilderness their home. Artemis is not a force of destruction, but a caretaker, a beacon of hope for those who seek refuge in the wild. She roams the wilderness with bow in hand, a symbol of independence and untamed spirit. We shall uncover the mysteries of Demeter, goddess of fertility and the earth, her story intertwined with the cycle of seasons and the sanctity of life's renewal. Demeter, the revered daughter of the titans Cronus and Rhea, was an emblem of agricultural abundance and natural growth. Strikingly, her mythical narrative doesn't just revolve around her, but it extends to illuminate her relationship with her beloved daughter, Persephone. This divine bond is not an ordinary one. It echoes the resounding sentiment of longing, devotion, and the immutable transformation of life and death. Demeter, endowed with the power to yield bountiful harvests, was a beacon of hope for the mortals. She was the life giver, the one who painted the earth green with her divine touch, a deity whose influence stretched far and wide across the mortal realm. Her benevolent reign was marked with auspicious seasons of growth and prosperity, a testament to her indomitable spirit that endured despite the challenges that arose. One such challenge was the abduction of her cherished daughter Persephone by the god of the underworld, Hades. This event sent ripples of despair and anguish through Demeter's being, leading her to retreat from her divine duties, causing the once fertile lands to wither and decay. However, her determination to bring back her daughter led to an agreement that bound Persephone to divide her time between her mother and her captor. The story of Demeter and Persephone is not limited to their personal ordeal, but serves as a metaphor for the natural cycle of life and death, of growth and decay. The delicate balance between the two is echoed in the shift of seasons, in the bloom of spring and the barrenness of winter. It symbolizes the impermanence of life, the transition from the vibrancy of liveliness to the stillness of demise. Demeter's tale is a journey of love, loss, and reunion. A story that is complex and profound, replete with emotions and laden with symbolic significance. It is a tale that highlights the heart's resilience in the face of adversity, the unwavering love of a mother, and the unyielding cycle of life and death. Her bond with Persephone unveils the intricate dance of life and death. Hestia, guardian of home and hearth, shall also grace our path. Often overlooked in the tales of old, her soothing warmth and gentle light are nonetheless omnipresent a comforting constant in an ever-changing world. She is the one who tames the flames, the one who keeps the hearth alive and glowing, her soft energy radiating love and harmony into the hearts of the home. Whispers of her name echo through the ages, each utterance a testament to the innermost essence of home. She is the silent sentinel, the unsung heroine, the unseen force that binds us all together. Her touch turns a house into a home, her whispering warmth making every corner a haven of coziness and peace. Her presence conjures up images of togetherness, of families gathered around a crackling fire, sharing stories of old and dreams of tomorrow. It speaks of shared meals lovingly prepared, of laughter echoing through the halls, of comfort and contentment, and a sense of belonging that only the warm embrace of home can bring. She's the unseen tie that binds, the gentle whisper in the ear of every mother, father, sister, brother, reminding us of the sacred bonds of family and the bliss of shared warmth. Her spirit lingers in every home, soothing bickering siblings and comforting tired parents, bringing serenity amidst the chaos of life. Her essence is one of simplicity, a gentle reminder that the most profound joys of life often lie in the simplest things, a warm meal, a cozy bed, a family gathered together in love and harmony. She is a symbol of domestic tranquility and familial bonds, a gentle guardian who preserves the sanctity of household fires. And so she shall grace our path, her presence a symbol of domestic tranquility and familial bonds, preserving the sanctity of household fires. From the goddesses of victory and justice to the ethereal beings of the moon and stars, each deity holds a unique place in the pantheon of Greek mythology. The pantheon was a place not just of power and reverence, but also of stories and legends. Every deity was distinct, possessing a set of attributes and spheres of influence that made them stand out among their divine peers. The goddesses of victory and justice, known to us as Nike and Themis respectively, were considered integral to the pantheon. Nike, the winged goddess of victory, was often depicted in art and literature as the divine charioteer, leading the victors to their glory. Her counterpart, Themis, was the embodiment of divine order, fairness, law, natural law, and custom, all crucial elements in the functioning of the divine and mortal world. 
Moving to the ethereal beings of the moon and stars, we encounter divine figures such as Selene and Asteria. Selene, the goddess of the moon, was known for her countless love affairs and her radiant beauty that illuminated the night sky. Asteria, on the other hand, was the goddess of falling stars and nighttime divinations, often associated with dreams and prophecies. In the expanses of the Greek pantheon, each deity, whether major or minor, held a significant role. Their narratives were not just tales of omnipotent beings exercising their power, but also stories of passion, jealousy, wisdom, and even folly. These stories were not simply for entertainment, they were also a means of imparting moral lessons and social norms. They taught the importance of humility, courage, wisdom, and justice, serving as a guide to the Greek civilization. The pantheon of Greek mythology is an intricate web of divine relationships and complex narratives. It is a place of untold stories, of lessons learned, of victories celebrated and defeats mourned. Every deity with their unique attributes and roles contribute to this rich tapestry of divine intrigue, their stories weaving a tapestry of timeless wisdom and divine intrigue. So embark with us on this mythical voyage where legends come alive and the wisdom of the ancients awaits. We invite you to join us, to dive deep into the realm where history and mythology intertwine, where the stories of the past still echo in the present. Let the whispering wind guide you as we embark on this grand journey, a voyage through time and imagination that transcends the confines of reality. Visions of marble temples and azure skies appear on the horizon, as if summoned by the gods themselves. Step into the realm of the ancients, filled with golden olive groves and towering statues, where every stone and every leaf has a story to tell. Here, in the heart of the ancient world, the echoes of a bygone era still resound, whispering tales of heroic deeds and epic battles, of love, betrayal, and sacrifice. In this mystical land, the wisdom of the ancients is etched into every corner waiting to be discovered. As we journey deeper into the mystery of ancient Greece, the lines and reality blur. Each step we take uncovers a new layer of history, a new facet of the divine feminine figures that shape this civilization. Underneath the moonlit sky, feel the presence of the goddesses of Olympus, their strength and grace embodied in the timeless beauty of Grecian art and architecture. Marvel at their influence, how they shaped the destiny of heroes and sculpted the course of history. Hear their voices echo in the silence, carrying tales of their power, their wisdom, their love. These divine feminine figures aren't just characters of the past, they're symbols of strength, wisdom, and beauty that have endured through the ages. Let their stories inspire you, their wisdom guide you, their courage fill you with strength. As we travel through this ancient land, let us pause to appreciate the enduring beauty and power these divine feminine figures represent. Let the magic of ancient Greece fill your senses. Through this journey, we aim to bring the past alive, connecting you with the wisdom and the legacy of these formidable figures. If you enjoyed watching this video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Your support means the world to us.